Hello everyone. Welcome to Quick Prints. Hope you all are doing great and learning well. As you can see, there are two artworks in my window. Uh, first is this border, and second is this square scarf. So in this video, I'm going to tell you like how to maintain these L-shaped angles without wasting so much efforts and time. How to get it done? Either for uh, usually we have seen when we are working on a square scarf, there is a big huge problem of setting these kind of edges or this kind of corners so this is where tutorial is all about so without wasting time let's start the video welcome back so this is the border which i have using uh, and you can get the same file in the description box. I'll uh, share the link there. And there's a white dialog box here. You can see the short command here. I'll explain by words as well. So this is the bottle which I am using. Uh, let's simply check the image size, like 18 by 7, which is good enough. 150 resolution, fine, because it's just an uh, image as of now. But if you have to draw, we'll convert into 300 resolution. Other Either if we are doing digital, so there is a note as such point of resolution. So let's skip that part. Now the point is how to adjust those angles or those L shapes. So like Control A, Control C. Simply Control A, Control C is the short command to copy any whole image, any image. Like so, I'm taking a new canvas. So let's avoid the shortcuts as of now. I'm taking the new image for where I can adjust those square angles or square shapes. 150 resolution, let's do it 200. So, like Control V. Here you can see there's a paste, simply copy and paste, nothing special I have done yet. So, but what I'm feeling, uh, the size of a bottle is too big according to the canvas so let's reduce the size by cubic remember that i have just control t for transfer and there are option nearest neighbor by liner by cubic by cubic smoother i'm keeping it by cubic smoother because it is a pixelated design it is not clear screen design it's just a pixelated to maintain these smooth pixels i'm keeping it by cubic smoother and let me reduce the size so let's see uh, while shifting pressing shift and alt you can see the proportion are properly balanced shift and all is pressed and i'm dragging it so right this is the size i'm double click and the transform is released Control j for duplicate layer Right. Control and I'm dragging it. So you can see if I'm dragging up and down, this could be moved slightly upward or downwards. So there is a very easy trick. Once we had, uh, we are done with Control J duplicate layer. Just Shift Control Shift Shift Alt and you can drag it straight, totally straight. If you move your mouse upside down, it will the motif will not move single pixel. So this is the benefit of Alt Control uh, Alt Shift dragging. So now, so we have joined the two borders. So let's see how to. Okay, there are three borders. Let's join the three borders. So again, Control T, Shift Control, and guess. So now we have fixed the three borders to maintain it. Okay, these all three borders are merged. Control E, the E is the short command to merge any layer. So this is the border which we have done uh, from the image. As uh, let's work on the angle. I'm putting grid down, up grid, left grid, down grid. Now hold on. We don't need to put the fourth grid because we have to understand when and how to put the fourth grid like use the maraki tool zoom it here 
click here and while pressing shift drag it because we have to maintain proper, uh, proportion of the selection as you can see in scale the height and width is totally match 2.125 inches it's not a single pixel move if i am using shift command while dragging the maraki selection right i've just left it now put the right selection so guys you have seen that there is a proper square box so now we need to see like which part we want to be flipped or which point, uh, part we want to be as a corner so there are so many parts we can do this paisley or we can do this uh, light paisley so let's keep the light paisley or let's keep the dark paisley okay so you can see that in this grid i'm using this paisley near to the grid right so now the next step please keep watching carefully and till the end because it is very important to make a, any scarf or any scare formation print so now we have placed the paisley near the grid on the right grid and we have to cut the selection so for that i am using simply pen tool 0.1 0.2 0.3 yes so now we have done the 45 degree angle because the square was total proper square so make selection let's remove the pixelation but uh, do it and tail as only feather radius is i'm doing zero and okay so once you have pressed the okay button uh, the path will convert into selection and i'm deleting so this is the edge which we got from that border now duplicate layer duplicate layer is this right control t control t then rotate 90 per, uh, degree clockwise and then flip horizontally and easily you can see there is a line there is a big line so let's see if it's fixed with placement or else we need to yes so this is how the joint will fix as you can see everything is very matched balanced in this point i mean we are not talking about the center part as of now we are talking about the side corner side corner is properly balanced and match you can see how the everything is very fixed very flipped properly balanced so let's merge the image control and select the layer control and click on layer both layer will select and control e control e is the short command to merge the layer okay so let's keep it here right now the point is how to fix the center part center part so let's first uh, let me make the grid on the center part like it would be the center part of these l shape borders so we can cut from there control a just click on the background layer control a and control t with this transform you'll get like four points of the center like vertically and horizontally as well so you can put grid here and here so these are the grid which uh, converting the background in four parts now we need to see that which part we want to keep in a center there is a paisley there is a box as well so it's totally up to us which part we want to keep i was thinking to keep the paisley or let's do it with border like this paisley should be come to another side right and yes so we need to remember whatever the motive we are choosing for upper side that we need to do the lower side as well so let's fix those so fine so i'm just making selection with the maraki tool 
guys understand the selection because it is really important to cut and delete to add anything so cut selection and cut selection and cut control b for deselect control j for duplicate layer so i have done once the duplicate layer control t now we need to maintain this left to right edges or left to right joint should be fixed so see this dot it has to be there like this and flip horizontally right. so let's move the uh, grid line for the now time being so as you can see the joints are properly fixed control e is the short command for the merge with down layer as well for merge to layer or merge with down layer it is the command control e so as you can see we have completed the upper part now control j control t this is the point i was talking about let's fix it here now this time we'll have to flip vertical this is like here is it so guys here you can see the all edges are very fixed properly balanced there's nothing like a big thing it's very easy it's just matter of understanding and right technique of tools so guys hope you like the video and if you are liking the video just share with your friends and college groups and if you are liking then please please hit the like button Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time.